This is the Icon USB microphone, and today I'm going to review it. I want to thank Earthworks Audio for sending me an Icon USB microphone for me to try out and for me to experiment and test. So thanks so much, Earthworks. Now, if you're a subscriber on this channel, you might have seen me do a review on the SR25, which this is a, an instrument mic from Earthworks, and you need a you need actually need a microphone cable to actually insert this. But what makes this unique and what makes this even more unique over here is that this is a USB mic. And this is a pretty high quality USB mic. I mean, take a look at this. This is stainless steel all around. I'm gonna turn it around here. And I'm gonna show you the bag. There's a little knob where you can adjust the gain, you know, forward and backward. And this is the USB mic, the micro USB. And a headphone jack so that way you get a um, you get a sense of what the audio is like in your earbuds. There are definitely some pros and cons. Just this is my first impressions. I just got this out of the box. Actually, let me let me show you the box. This is the box that it comes in, and the show sounds like life. And let's talk let's talk about what comes in the box. Well, you first of all you get this microphone right over here. You don't get this black stand. The black stand is mine. However, you do have this stand that comes in and let me show you what it looks like when the microphone is on top of the stand. So this is what the whole package looks like with the earthwork stand that comes with this is the microphone and I could adjust the I could adjust the height of the mic, the angle of the mic with this ball over here. There's a screw right here over here. Let me just tighten that up again. And this is what it looks like um, in its full form. And then there's a USB cable that comes from the back straight into the computer. Now, I want to emphasize is that this is straight into the computer. Earthworks provides with two cables, which is really unique. Um, you have micro USB to regular USB right over here. But most importantly, we have micro USB to USB-C. This is the guy, USB-C. Now, why is this important? Because right now I'm using a Mac and a Mac MacBook Air, as a matter of fact, and I only have USB-C. So I feel like their target audience are people who are, you know, either, you know, buying a laptop within the last couple of years, a lot of USB-C ports on the laptop. USB-C in general has a faster connection, which is why people prefer USB-C. My sense on this is that this is a really good decision by Earthworks because nobody is using these bulky, these bulky things anymore. I mean, you have to attach Hold on, let me find it here. You have to attach this dongle <laughs> to put the USB-C through the USB-C. It's just, it's just annoying. A good work, Earthworks for just understanding the market really well that we're just using micro USB to USB-C. This is what we want. This is the, the ease of use, which I think Earthwork is really trying to go for in this uh, particular market. Now, this is a, a, a microphone that is in a very specific market because it's it's not just for the person who wants to do live streaming or game streaming. This is for the working professional who really wants a quality mic. They don't, Earthworks is really into not having you buy a microphone more than once. You know, there are a lot of cheap microphones out there that are quite, you know, usable for a period of time, but they don't last for the long term. And I think that's what Earthworks is always trying to go for, is to build really high quality microphones. Let's talk about the specific specs on this microphone. If you're the nerd who's like looking for a decent microphone and you're into the specs, let's talk about those specs. So these, uh, these microphones over here by Earthworks, the frequency goes between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Uh, the polar pattern is cardioid. And that's all I feel like you really need to care about. Oh, I mean, one, one little thing. Let's actually detach this. You could actually detach this microphone here. And you might notice that this microphone, this little tip here, is very similar to this SR25. Now, I feel like this has a little bit more tech inside. It look, I, I said in my previous video that this could look, kind of looks like a Cuban cigar, and it's a very good sounding mic. But the, the tech is kind of different because there's a little bit more tech since the, uh, since the microphone is a little longer. And you, you know you get a very specific cable, so you get a very accurate sound for instruments. But again, this is supposed to be uh, this icon USB mic is supposed to be for uh, podcasters, vocalists, musicians on the go. This is who their target audience is, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from the top. 
However, I would not I would not uh, podcast with this with this um, without this cover here. This is what the cover looks like on its own. You know, very high quality. Here's a here's the metal mesh. You know, this is not a a light mic. This is a pretty heavy mic. So the tech that they have in this microphone is uh, quite good. Right now I'm using a Rode mic on top of my camera, but let's go ahead and switch over to this Icon USB microphone. Great, so now I'm recording on the Earthworks Icon USB and you may not see it based on my screen, but I actually have it right over here that's connected uh, to the, the computer, which I'll do it in post edit later. But this is where the there's a con when using this particular stand. You know, if I'm a podcaster, I want to use something like this, like a mic stand that is a little bit elevated that I can, you know, just have right in front of my face. I don't want to have to continue leaning down. But this could be useful for the, the average Zoom caller or someone who is on the road who needs a good durable mic who is uh, who's a musician. So right now the microphone is about maybe a foot and a half away from my mouth. And this is what the sound is. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the microphone three feet away. This is my original voice. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is at the edge of my room. This is the sound. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this microphone onto this stand, which I had in earlier in the video, and we're going to talk about the difference in the sound quality going on to the higher mic stand. So here we go. All right. So this is the microphone that's on the side. What's the sound like? Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is now the microphone in front of my face. It's about six inches away from my face with the gain slightly up. This is testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is halfway of my office, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is the end, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. So what are your thoughts on the different sounds of the microphone? In my personal opinion, I feel like this is a very durable mic. I feel like this is something that I'm going to be using for a very, very long time. And this is probably the most traditional podcasting setup that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be putting it down on the ground because I want to make sure that my audience gets the clearest, um, clearest voice out of out of the microphone. In the coming weeks, I'm going to be experimenting with this microphone. I know that I have some interviews popping up in the next couple of weeks for my violin podcast. And um, yeah, I'll probably do an experiment with the different uh, comparisons of the other mics that I have in my arsenal. So leave a comment down below. What are some of the characteristics and things that you notice about this Earthworks USB icon? I really want to get this conversation going. Leave a comment down below. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do uh, how-to tutorials on the violin. I also do product reviews that help you become a better violinist. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.